Hey there, so today I want to talk about the guy that decided that it would be a-okay to assault someone at Gen Con. That's right, this is the person that decided to assault Jeremy from the quartering. He decided that it would be a-okay to jump someone from behind because that's the way you punch a Nazi. That's why I talk about how these people label and disparage individuals because they make it okay to go out and not only discriminate, but they make it okay for people to think that they can go and harm individuals. We've seen this type of rhetoric, too, associated with different types of cons. For example, within a Comic-Con, we heard about diversity in comics, and we saw pros out there behind the scenes talking about how they wanted to goad someone into violence. We saw B. Claymore talking about it, Taylor Esposito talking about how he wanted to shout one punch as the guy went down. We have Telly Thompson there. We have Jody Howell. And you know what? Nothing happens. Nothing whatsoever. We see Worldcon with John De La Rose. Worldcon, they, they have all of these threats that are coming in. And of course, the attendees, many of them are backing out. But what Worldcon does, after someone says that they need to record for their safety, they ban them or they disinvite them. They don't want them there. That's what we see. And now, of course, we see not only this from somebody that attends a lot of functions here that has been through many an interview that has represented panels and on but also you know we can see them here you know but we also see the con itself Gen Con doing damage control this is their twitch stream before it was shut down you see people asking about this is it true you can assault people at Gen Con up oh, you're out of here you know um so I heard Gen Con is full of extremist SJWs bam we're out of here too Gen Con is all down for assaulting attendees up oh, you gotta go well yeah they've been censoring people instead of addressing the assault yep gotta go there too you know some guy is punching people People up, gotta go. Anyone that brings this stuff up, they are banned. You see this over and over and over. I mean, look at how many people are banned within this before they decide to pull it down because this is damaging. This is what they consider good moderation. You know, they thought that going out and silencing people that are worried about their safety or worried about their family's safety, that's the way you should play. That's the way it's a-okay. I mean, think about that. Say I take my child. I have a four-year-old daughter. Say I take them with me and someone decides that I'm a Nazi. What happens then? What happens not only when this place will spin it that way, but you have people out there that spin things like this. Now, this is Tess Fowler. This person is from not only the uh, tabletop community, but also comic books. And you see how their spin goes. Hey, Gen Con friends, stay safe out there. Buddy system, both on site and off, okay? There was apparently an incident at a bar after hours last night, and it's got the far right because right now when I'm talking to you about this apparently we're far right you know people that are out there that want to actually engage in a conversation of course if you don't lick the boot heels of ideologues you're far right isn't that amazing there but the far right out there having discussions about assaulting crowds yeah because you know the discussion here isn't about assaulting people it's about being attacked but hey, let's not let that get in the way Please watch out for each other. Don't let this kill your good time. That's what they want, you know, because they out there, those people, the far right you're talking about, yeah, them wanting to be safe. Nope, that's not the thing. Jeremy even wants this to go away. He doesn't want to talk about it, but I think it's important to talk about the person, the reaction, and then the person behind that, not only as what we showcase there, but also as a Kickstarter fraud. Oh, yeah, did I forget to mention that? So when I was looking through stuff, and thanks to the person that has been helping me out with this, if you want kudos for this, I definitely appreciate your help with all of these things. You definitely deserve uh, your kudos and your merit there. So just let me know. You know you know who you are, but definitely appreciate all of that. But this stuff comes up within conversation. Did you ever fill your Kickstarter? Or did you take the 15K and run? Who's really on the run? So you see this, and you see other things coming up within conversation. You know, like I liked your article. You know, another Kickstarter fail? Glamazon. 
Prince, curse of the chainmail bikini. And also, somebody gave him this article and said, hey, you need to check this out. Fund me or fraud me. Crowd ra- crowdfunding uh, scams are on the rise. So, the people were talking about this here. Now, this, if we look over it very easily, we can see that this is, of course, a little over $15,000 here. It was fulfilled. And if you look at the people that are involved, well, that's Mr. Punch himself. Now, if we go through and we look at the date here, you'll notice that this is saying that the estimated delivery is in 2014. Now, interestingly enough, in updates, they stop within 2016. You have no more actual progress updates being added. You do have a few comments that are added here when you see that. But you're talking about something that started in 2013, and you have people out here asking for official updates because the last official update was in 2016. They would actually like to see something to say that this is moving forward. But again, I can't have that because this is the way of people. You know, the people out there that actually talk about these issues, those people, they apparently deserve to be assaulted. But you know, people like this, they deserve to be able to run away with money and to attack people with impunity. Point in case, when you look at this, here is somebody that is a producer for the Nerdist. Not only that, someone that is at Gen Con, and look what they have to say within this. You know, Jeremy Hambly was doing a meet and greet at an Indianapolis bar on Wednesday night. At around 1 a.m., someone walked up to him and punched him. He files a report. They talk about this. His response to it, I'm just relieved someone punched a Nazi. You know what? He got blowback for that. When he does, he starts calling people fascist or fascist fascist sympathizers. You know, he says, have you found me because I'm glad a Nazi got punched? That's why I talk about this language, this rhetoric being so dangerous, because you have people out here that say they don't owe you engagement. It's okay when they advocate for violence, and that's okay when someone advocates for you being deplatformed then. We don't owe you engagement either. In fact, if you want to throw this out there as your opinion and you get some type of blowback for it, well, don't expect to say, oh, you know, uh, that's fascism, you know, gate misogyny and racism, and they pose a threat to my family, community, and country, and public assaults on Nazis is good and effective. Yeah, you label somebody something that is terrible out there because you think that that's an effective way to deplatform them. It has gotten to the point where it's ineffective. You can no longer get people to listen because you throw these words around like they're meaningless, but you You had somehow one day got the mainstream media to back you on, is it okay to punch a Nazi? When Richard Spencer got punched, from there you start labeling different people Nazis. I mean, look at what Antifa calls the enemy, for example. When they talk about Nazis, they talk about centrists being Nazis. They talk about firemen being Nazis. Are you going to start punching firemen when they add, when they actually show up to something? Is that the way we're going to go with that? But continuing this here, we know fascists make rational arguments in bad faith. Civic engagement cannot defeat bad fare. If fascists experience physical harm for publicly holding fascist views, they stop expressing those views in public. It works. That's why this is so triggering for you. Advocating that people are harmed in public because you don't like their viewpoints. That is where we are now. This does not not work for anybody. This is the way that you get yourself out of a job. In fact, I hope they fire your ass for this. I do not normally advocate for someone being fired or deplatformed, but this, this gets you with that. You know, you can see, of course, with this, this is not the first time that McShane has targeted people he disagrees with, with Nazis. Like you can see Sebastian's Dworka here. You know, you're a literal Nazi who uh, couldn't get security clearance, so of course you need to go and beat on them. Now, the rest of the article talks about uh, the past and whatnot. I think you should check that out. It's definitely a good article, but just think about this. You pay for the experience to go to a place like Gen Con. You pay to go out and to experience culture, to go and check on products, and so on. 
There are people out there that because of your opinion think that while you're there, you should be attacked. And there are people out there that will spin that attack. I showcased this in a live stream. I showcased how many of these people are out there. And it's alarming. It's alarming that they are in positions of prominence and that they're down with you being harmed again and again and again. They are good to go as long as, of course, the person being harmed. They are ideological uh, uh, opponents of what these people stand for and really looking at what they say, how couldn't you be? But anyhow, tell me what you think about this stuff. Are you surprised that the person is a Kickstarter scammer? Are you surprised by what you're seeing when you look at people trying to silence this narrative? I mean, really, what do you think about everything there? I'm curious exactly how people take this. Do you think that you'll actually see a product delivered five years later? I mean, tell me what you think. Thank you.